Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today I'm going to show you how I use this $10 computer to control my layout. Okay everybody, let's get right into it. This is a Raspberry Pi Zero W. The W stands for Wi-Fi. It is a $10 single board computer, and these things are tiny. I've placed this dime next to it for reference. You can see how small these are. They have 512 megabytes of RAM. They use an SD card as their hard drive. They have a mini HDMI port. One micro USB port serves for accessories, and one micro USB port serves for power. This connection right here is for other accessories such as touch screens. Now these computers run Linux, and this one in particular isn't all that powerful. It's not meant to be heavy on graphics. It's meant to do simple things, like run a model railroad. And now I'm gonna show you how I do that. The one thing I should mention is I did not buy this computer by itself. I bought it in a kit for around $32. I also had to buy a USB port hub that is specifically designed for the Raspberry Pi Zero. This was around $7. So what we're going to do first is we're going to stick that SD card right in there. Alright, so that's the very first step. The next step is going to be doing all of our hookups. The first thing I'm going to do is take my monitor cord, which I've adapted to mini HDMI, and hook it in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the USB hub that I have for all the accessories. The main accessories I'm going to be hooking up are my keyboard, my mouse, and my connection to my layout. And then finally, I'm going to take the power connection and hook it up here. Your Raspberry Pi Zero will then begin to boot up. You'll then go ahead and begin the install process. Because this is a small computer, this will take some time. Once you've completed installation, you can now go through with the JMRI install. Once you have Linux installed, you can go ahead and open up the web browser that comes with it and navigate to the JMRI homepage. Once you've reached the JMRI homepage, you'll want to click on the Linux setup guide. Once you're in the Linux setup guide, you'll want to click on the instructions for the Raspberry Pi. Once you get to this page, it gives you full instructions on how to install JMRI on a Raspberry Pi. In this case, a Raspberry Pi Zero W. You'll scroll down a little bit and you'll see a link to download JMRI. Click that. This will take you to a download link page, and you scroll down until you find the Linux download. For this particular install, I'm going to be doing the JMRI 4.10 production release. In this window, you see options for Mac OS X, Windows, and Linux. Click the Linux option. Your computer will begin downloading JMRI. Once this is complete, click the up arrow next to the JMRI download icon in the bottom left of your browser window. Then click the show in folder option. You'll bring up a folder with this icon right here. This is where all of your JMRI files are. You'll want to right click and click extract to. Once you've done this, a window will load with the JMRI folder. You'll go to this icon, which is the Extract folder. Once you have this up, you'll click the File folder on the right-hand side, and click Desktop. 
then click Open. Once you have the desktop selected, click Extract. This might take some time. Once you've placed the JMRI folder on the desktop, you'll need to click the terminal icon in the top left. Now all we have to do is type a simple line of code. I'll put the code in the description below. The reason that we're doing this is to copy it over into our opt folder. Now that this is complete, we can go into our opt folder. Now that you open this folder, you see Decoder Pro, Panel Pro, Sound Pro. The gear icon means that they're a program. Let's open up Panel Pro. You want to click Execute. And voila, you have JMRI on a $10 computer. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, please click that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell. In future videos, I'll show you the basics of JMRI along with my DCC++ base station and how I built it. Until then, happy railroading.